Well, hi, good morning, and thank you so much for joining me here in my shop. It's February 8th. It's another cold day here. It's about minus 8 outside, and I, uh, before coming in here, I was outside uh, wielding the snowblower again. Because uh, you live in a snowy place, you know what happens when the snowplow goes by the end of your driveway? Well, I had to go out and deal with that this morning, and I used a snowblower with so much snow. Anyway, more snow is coming later today. Yahoo! <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I spent a little bit of time in here uh, last night uh, looking this over and tracing out a few circuits and I think I'm ready to solve or I think I'll be able to solve the uh, uh, line adjust problem. The, the line adjust problem is not that you can't adjust the line voltage on the unit, it's that the meter doesn't reflect the line adjustment anymore. So the function's working but the meter's not showing it. And that's what I'm going to focus on. I studied the schematic last night and managed to figure out how to, how, to, how to trace this some distance. So I stopped at that point because I wanted to do it today so you could have the pleasure and excitement of watching me stumble around on this thing some more today. <laughs> that's, that's kind of it. I'm pretty hopeful for solving the line problem, but the other problems, still not so hopeful. So. Uh, Let's take a look at the uh, schematic to start. So I've, I've zoomed in on part of the schematic here, the part that shows the meter. So we see the meter, a damping capacitor, a reversing switch, a diode, and then we see the selector switch selecting what function the meter is uh, performing. It so happens that the schematic is drawn with the meter in the line position. So you can see the, the connection uh, what they're connecting to out here. <clears throat> Look at this line number 11 here. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. And number 11 skip skip ties to a resistor and to the diode. Diode. The other one connects to this line. We'll follow this line. Well, why do I not have a pointer on my... Uh, why, why have I got a... I, I don't know why my pointer is an eye bar but down here reaches this P9. Now I looked in the manual P9 is the line adjust set uh, uh, adjustment, the line adjust adjustment inside the device and uh, so, so I, I know where that is and then if we follow it further to the to the, how, how do you go to the left here? Like, uh, what's going on? Okay, shrink it, shrink it, shrink it down. Seem to have a slider bar at the bottom. So, so if you go to the left from the switch, this this uh, adjustment here, skip, 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 all the way out to this thing. Okay, so we'll try to zoom in on that. How can I zoom in on that? One more. How come there's no slider bar? Is it just the same color as it is? It's the same color. Okay, here we are. Comes over here. Comes into this arrangement here where you see a series of uh, potentiometers all grounded at the bottom and it's different lines coming in and this thing's selecting them out. I didn't think my way through to what this actually is but uh, I think this has to do with zeroing the meter. These are meter zeroings for different uh, functions. Well, I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure of that. So, but anyway it goes to here and then this thing is getting juiced up from where? Where, where is this getting juiced up? It's a transformer. Oh, I didn't notice this last night. This transformer winding sitting here. So this has to be the source of the voltage that drives the meter during the line test. And, and this probably is a, a meter zeroing technique here. I couldn't find any reference. This is P8. I couldn't find any reference in the manual and I just got tired of looking. So something's going on here. Um, we can start by uh, looking for voltages here. I know where this guy is. We can look for voltages here. We can look for voltages on the back of the switch all the way through here. Since since I've seen the meter go up a little bit, I know the meter movement's working. I know all this stuff must be connecting. I suspect it's this diode that's failed, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's the story. Okay, I'll show you where some of these parts are. The, uh, this is the switch which selects the line setting. 
can look right on the back here. You can see the switch elements and how they're connected. And P9 is this adjustment down here. Um, which, which we could poke around with, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stop for a bit and have a little coffee. Lament about my sore back. And uh, that's it. Watch a video. Okay, I think the first and most logical thing to do is go after that diode. Um, so here's the switch here. And right now it's set to... Oh, look who's here. Hey, Bert, what are you doing? What are you up to today? So uh, the, the switch uh, connection is connecting to this terminal here. And look, there's the diode right there. So I think I'm going to go after this diode. Maybe the first thing we can do is test it. If I just test it while it's in circuit. Oh, 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 oh don't step on my keyboard. <laughs> That's what that was. Is everything still working? Hello, hello. Yes, everything's still working. If you hear a crash, you'll know it's uh, it's him doing it. Just on the diode setting here. Maybe I'll turn the control off the uh, line test. Maybe that'll uh, yeah, that open circuit this except there's a capacitor here right? or something like it. Because maybe it's a resistor. I don't. Know. Here we go. What do we get? The other way. Ooh, we got nothing. Hmm. Open circuit. Uh, uh, diodes tended to short. Oh my gosh, cat! What are you doing? What? <laughs> Come on! Look, he's in the I gotta find myself something to do mode. I get into that mode too. He's just looking, just looking everywhere. What is there? Come on! What? 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 What can I do? <laughs> Go on. He's watching the uh, cord on my uh, camera. That's what he was doing there. So one of the things we do as human beings, and all animals do really well, is we figure out what's alive and what's not alive. And you might think that's a simple thing to tell what's alive and what's not alive. But uh, I don't think it's quite so simple. Um, I mean, it's simple for us because we're, uh, you know, we're human beings. We're pretty advanced uh, and knowledgeable too. But uh, animals, they get suspicious that something might have life in it when it doesn't. So if you take some inanimate object and kind of wave it at a cat and kind of look at it and wonder, is that thing alive? I think that's what's going on in their head quite often. And that, I think that's also why they love to take little uh, little toys and flip them around and knock them all around because to them they're putting life into it and then they can chase it because it's alive in their minds. Okay, diode. Let's take it right out of here. Let's take it right out. And we better make note of the direction of it. the camera I just turned on you're looking through. Where? <laughs> oh, it's at the back of the meter. That's right. Back of the uh, back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. By looking at it, I can't tell positive from negative. here properly. 
Well, look on the schematic. I got the schematic right here. Well, I'll we'll use that camera there. So there, there's the diode uh, pointing to ground. So pointing to ground. That's all I need to remember. Pointing to ground. Great. Let's take it right out now. with this. This would be a better tester. What's all that mean? <laughs> well, it knows it's a diode. Its uh, forward voltage drop is 900 millivolts. That's a little high. I guess that's a uh, I reverse for microamps. Sounds good to me, doesn't it? Doesn't that sound like a good thing? The nine's a little high. It's definitely not a uh, germanium. Okay, well, we'll stick another one in there. And uh, I had the impression there's nothing wrong with that diode, though. That's that's where it stands at the moment. So, uh, wouldn't you know it, I think some time ago I organized all my diodes and cleaned them all up and put them away and I, for the life of me, I can't find them anywhere. This is a tray of uh, Zener diodes. These are all Zeners here. I can't use any of those. The only thing I could find is an old tray from when I was in high school. <laughs> I found this. It's a great big diode. So anyway, I ran the test on it. It's all I got right now. I'm looking for a little tiny, you know, one in whatever, but so this is testing very good. Uh, 600 millivolt and uh, nanoamps in reverse. This is a very good diode. It's gonna, it'll do the job, but it's just a little on the big side for such a thing. So I think the solution here is uh, drink some coffee and then, uh, you know, I have spent. 20 minutes looking for these diodes. How can I lose them? There's hundreds of them here. Where are they? Coffee. Okay, I found some finally. So we have all kinds of stuff in here. A 1N914. Oh, I got a new, I got a joiner here. Hey man, where are you going? Just passing through. I thought I'd walk on your keyboard for you. Reverse voltage, average rectified forward current, 75 milliamps. I think this diode is only powering the uh, meter. I don't think anything more than that. What are you doing over there, cat? So maybe one of those, but they look pretty small. What do we got here? 1N4739. I don't know what that is. These ones look like pretty odd looking ones. Here. Hmm. <laughs> the camera likes the cat better than the diode. I'm going to put it right in the middle here, maybe it'll focus. I'm not going to use it anyway. What were your head button me for? Ah uh, yes, how about these? What are these? A whole bunch of these. Brand new uh, diode. What's that say there? Uh, I don't know what that is. It's not what I'm looking for. How about this one? Okay, I'm gonna find myself a diode here. And uh, look at these beauties. Wow. Two bucks a piece. Okay, I'll find a diode here. There he comes. Bert 
Bert. Hey, Bert. So what are you doing today? What are you planning on doing today? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And what else? You're going where? You're going to see who? And you're going to eat some stuff and sleep. And in the meantime, look, she's, she's so wound up, eh? I got to do something. I got I to gotta be doing something. <laughs> He's at the peak of his uh, awakeness. Okay. Onto the floor you go. There you go. Very nice cats. We're very lucky here. Like, like I said, I will pick a diode and we'll put it in and I will get focused here. Okay, I've got the uh, diode installed here. It's a one and it's in a short, it's in a shorted position there. Jim, oh, holy smokes. That's not good at all. It's laying up against other terminals. There we are. So I have a new diode installed. It's a one in zero, zero, two, I think I put in there. And uh, we'll give it a try, but first I gotta clean up my bench because it, it's, a, it's a terrible mess here. And I, can't work with it like that. It's too dangerous. Okay, let's see if the line adjust control will now cause the meter to go up. And uh, put your money down. I'm not putting any money on this. I don't think I've done any. I don't think it's going to work. But let's find out. So we're going to. This is switched off. This is online. This is off. The rest of it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go through the dim bulbs here. So I would have expected the meter to come right up, right away. Um, some, some distance. But it hasn't. Okay, you can see the light going up and down. So there's no question there's a, there's, there's a variation being made. could it possibly be? Put this in test mode. No, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Normal reverse. Causes the meter to jump a bit. There is a capacitor in there. That's probably what we're seeing. It's a little charge in a capacitor. Why it's going backwards. I'm going to burn the meter out. Jim. So bias going backwards, that's the other problem, isn't it? Bias goes backwards. Okay, well, you know what? That's it for today. <laughs> I didn't do a thing. Nothing beneficial happened here. But, uh, you know, well, I don't know. Should, should I give up on this thing? I, I have a few other tube testers. I don't really need this one. But it is a beauty. Um, I don't know. I'll spend my day thinking about it and we'll see what happens tomorrow if I take another run at it. Thanks a lot for watching. Sorry, not everything can work out here. You know, I, I, I take these projects on not knowing how they're going to come out. So uh, not to be too surprised if it's uh, if it doesn't come out good. Okay, enough of that. Have a great day. Uh, I'm off to deal with, I think, more snow is coming. Yeah, see ya.